Hi everybody, I'm Joni. Thank you for tuning in to my video today. Um, today I'd like to share a little bit about how I like to refresh my hair on day two, three, five, quarantine day seven. You know how it is. So um, the first thing I like to do is mix with a little water. Um, I have a medium to fine texture it's pretty dense and suave. So this really helps me kind of smooth out the pieces that'll be sticking straight out and like bring the curl back. So I'm gonna miss my hair right now. So it's wet. Um, some spots are a little more damp than others, so I will pull out my microfiber towel. Um, microfiber, you ask? Why microfiber? So, a lot of people use a t-shirt. That works out really well. Look at it. There we go. Um, that works really well, but my hair is always red. And so, a t-shirt stained with red hair color hanging in your bathroom is like a, a bold look. Um, so, I just go with this gray towel. And what I do is I flip my head to the side and I squeeze and scrunch and hold. There we go. Flip my head to the other side, squeeze, scrunch, and hold. And then I flip my head over, stand on my tiptoes so you can see. What's really important with this is that you don't shuffle your hair around too much. So squeeze that extra water out. Now, I love to mist at this point with the AG Curl Trigger. Oh, and if this hair was sticking out, I would like mist with water and I will comb it and smooth it back down again. Um, but this is the second time I styled my hair today, so it wasn't too bad. Um, back to the Curl Trigger. I love this stuff. I've been using it for 10 years at least. It's a really good like curl defining spray that's not quite a gel, not quite a conditioner, really good for fine to medium hair. The trigger is easy to hold when your hands are super slippery and wet and it makes a fine mist. So I'll give a little. I also can spray like more of this on on the first or second day after I've washed my hair and then just a little bit on day whatever this is, that at home life, right? Now I'll squeeze a little bit in, shuffle it some, and I have the Diva dryer. I really, really love it. Sorry, it's not super shiny. It's like six or seven years old, I think. Um, love this because the cup shape on, you know, long hair, which I have, sometimes have. Um, it can over dry the ends, but leave your roots still wet. And then your ends are frizzy and your hair is still wet. And then um, on my shorter hair with the cup, it can like form the curls into a weird shape. And then they stick up oddly and you know, not cute. This is awesome because it works just like my own hand would if I was crunching my hair. So I'm going to show you how I put it in my hair. And then I'm going to actually turn the dryer on in a minute. So I'll put here, and this will help give body on the sides. Here too. Come in the back, get a little lift there. And then I like to come in here, get some volume on the top, and then I cup a little bit on the front. Low speed, low heat. Okay, so I hope you could tell even through the little fast forwarding that I hold it in each place for at least several seconds. Um, the more you move it, the fuzzier it gets, the fewer days you get to wear your style, the sooner you have to wash it. 
All I have is time and that seems like it takes too long. So the next thing I love to use is sometimes both of these. I play around. I love products. So right here, I've got the Diva Curl Beautiful Mess. which is like a pomade. And then here I've got the Kenra Spray. I'm going to use both of these today because we're doing it up. Um, I come in here. I get, it's like clear. And I get a small amount like that. This stuff is real concentrated and I don't have that much hair. So I like to spread it out on my fingertips. Really get it everywhere so I don't accidentally put one blob right in one spot. And then I will help lay down the sides. And I've still got some on my hands so I will just go in and scrunch that. My hair is still, my hair's like 90% dry. I find that that works really well for me. Um, when I dry all the way, I tend to get a little more frizz. So I just scrunch that in. This on its own is good to go. Um, got just enough hold to glue my ends back together and not so much it gets crunchy. But I say we really do it up today. So I'm gonna come in with the Kinder Volume Spray. Um, love this because it never flakes, doesn't build up and just enough hold nice shine so missed Whew, those roots though y'all mm. so you see i don't put a whole lot in there just enough to get my ends to stick back together and i'm pretending i'm going out now so i'm gonna come in with my pick i love this thing really helps me get some lift at the root that's real. And the really important thing here is that I'm like lifting it up, scrunching and protecting my actual curls and then coming at the root and giving it like two little, two little pumps, so. You know, I gotta have a little bit in the back here. I like that, I like that nice question mark shape, so. That helps get a little bit of extra lift at the roots and then I can even shuffle, just make sure I'm putting my hands in at the root and shuffling so I don't disrupt the curl too much. Wow, looking cute for quarantine. I like it, N nice little triangle shape, I'm gonna keep this. Anyways, thank you guys so much for tuning in. I hope you um, enjoyed it and I love, love, love textured hair, curly hair, wavy hair products. Please hit me up in the comments. I'd love to um, find out about a new product you love or answer any questions you might have. So thank you so much. Have a great day.